In this video we're going to be looking at uh, mathematical induction or proof by induction. It's basically a technique that allows us to prove that a given statement is true for uh, all natural numbers or a set of natural numbers. So for example if we uh, take this statement and we said that it was true for all n greater than or equal to 1, then this would, uh, well, then we could use uh, proof by induction or mathematical induction to actually accomplish this. Mathematical induction consists of two cases. The first one is the base case. And basically, we're going to have to prove, so we're dividing the problem into two subproblems. Um, the first pro subproblem is to prove that the statement holds when n assumes the lowest value you can take. So in our problem here, we're going to have to let n take the value 1, which is the lowest value you can take based on the problem. And we're going to have to prove that this is true. So this holds. This equality holds. If we can do that, then we've passed the first step. The base case is right. The second step is to show that the inductive step is also true. And how it works is that you're going to assume that your statement is true for n is equal to a number k, a natural number, a number k. So you're just going to assume this. You're going to assume this is true. And then what you're going to be working on is, given this assumption, this holds that n is equal to k plus 1 when inserted in your statement also holds. So you're going to start with what we call the um, induction hypothesis, which is that we're just going to assume that the statement is true for n is equal to k. And then we're going to work from there to show that the statement also holds for n is equal to k plus 1. If we can do that, and we've done the base case, then this basically means that the statement is true. So we've divided our proof problem into two sub-problems, and by doing this, we've basically, uh, by actually proving them into, in, in both cases, we've uh, uh, proved the general case. Um, one way to look at it intuitively to understand what exactly is going on here is um, to imagine a situation where you have a, a person who wanted to step on rocks that were in um, a shallow body of water, so an infinite number of rocks, identical rocks, and you wanted to prove that this person could jump or step from every single rock to the next one and not fall off in the water. How would you do that by using proof by induction? You would first prove that this person could actually stand on the first rock. If you can prove this, then this is your base case. Your base case has been proved. So you have this person standing on the rock, and this is true. This could hold. And then you're, what you're going to have to prove is the inductive step, which is basically that the person, given that he is standing on any of the rocks, so we can call that rock K, he could actually jump to the next rock. So k plus 1, that step holds, given that this is true. So we're just going to assume that this is true, and we're going to have to show that this person could actually jump to the next step. If we can do this, if we can prove that the person could actually stand on the rock without falling off, and uh, that that same person could, given that he could stand on a, any rock, could jump to the next rock, so this jump is possible, then we've basically proved the problem. We've basically proved that this person could be moving along all the rocks without falling off into the water. He's just going to be standing on one, jumping to the next one, standing on that one, jumping to the next one, and we've proved that the jump is possible and standing on a rock is possible. So this is proved by induction. This is a way to look at it and to understand it. Um, in the next video, we're going to be looking at a, an example of proof by induction.